Greetings, all you Case Copper Lock lovers out there. Welcome back to the Tiger Pit. So I was going to open this up and check it out first, but let's do another unboxing. So you can see what I see when we get them. Now this is a Shepherd Hills exclusive Case Copper Lock. I had ordered the Barlow, and then a few days later this popped up. And it was actually manufactured July 1st, 2024. Kentucky Bluegrass Bone Peach Seed Jig Copper Lock. Like I said, the Kentucky Bluegrass isn't my favorite, but um, gotta pick it up. It's a full-size copper lock. And when I saw the price, it was $57.99, $58. Now, since then, they have risen it to $62. I'm not sure why. I have noticed that and on initial drops, and then a few days later, they will raise the price. Now, generally not with Shepherd Hills, maybe with like Red Hill, but I'm glad I got it. You know, saved a whole three, four dollars. Under 60 bucks is definitely more palatable. So join me in the Tiger Den. We'll see how this one turns out. Let's get some stuff out of here. I don't have any problems focusing. Comes with fingerprint on it. Somebody opened it up. Wow. Check out that bluegrass bone. Blade's not totally centered, but it's not r rubbing. Nice and smooth. No blade play, up or down, left or right. You see the model number, 61549L, stainless steel, USA. Very cool. Now this stainless steel, which isn't a big deal for me, I just want to collect. Oh, well there I closed it, and now it's centered. Maybe it just had to be open and closed. Do that again. Yeah, well, now it's a little off, so it probably just plays around in there. Very cool. Nice Kentucky Bluegrass. Like I said, I'll be highlighting this series now that I have three of them. They are all a little bit different. I have noticed that the newer ones seem a little bit different than the older one. I only have one older one to compare it to. I think they've gotten better with the bone. Uh, I wasn't too impressed with my Slimline Trapper when I got it. It is nice. But it seems like they got more darkness in the jigging and just a really beautiful looking bone. Again, I love these full size copper locks. Feel fantastic in the hand. Good four finger grip. You can choke up if you need to. You can close them one handed if you need to. You can pretty much can uh, the mini was a little easier to open with one hand i don't know if i can open this one with one hand i may have to practice with it i see people open up their saw buster juniors with one hand and i cannot figure out how to do that but you got a beautiful long pull beautiful clip point blade with swedging My very first was the Deep Red Bone Carbon Steel. My second was the Sky Blue and Stainless Steel. So, yes, now I have three full-size Copper Locks. Beautiful color. I have three in the Warncliffe. I'm not going to bust them out right now. We're highlighting the clip point. Now, the carbon steel does get a razor sharp edge. It's very easy to sharpen. Stainless isn't too bad. You can still strop it up nice and sharp. Let's check out the blade grind since I had an issue with one of my minis. Looks fairly good. I must have just been a fluke with my mini yellow. Really cool pattern that I'm really glad they brought back. I'm really digging it. I like the size, I like the single blade, I like the fact that it locks. 
you know, I am a huge Trapper fan. I do like my Trappers. But um, these are really nice, slim pocket carries for sure. And just gorgeous. And when you can pick them up for under $60, like my Sky Blue, I think I got it for $53. This was $58. And they're right in that trapper range. Some trappers go for more. I can't recall what I spent for this. Probably 70 something dollars. I think my most expensive was the Purple Barn Board Warncliffe at $84, $85. You can see I'm getting some teeners on the blade there, along with my fingerprints. Yes, Shepherd Hills exclusive. You can only get. Kentucky Bluegrass Bone from Shepherd Hills. Like I said, they just recently dropped them, which is interesting that it was well, it was manufactured at the beginning of the month, so that's not really too long ago. Boy, that was only a couple weeks ago, actually. Um, I'm really glad they did. If first, you know, if I would have noticed this, I would probably would have ordered it at the same time as the Barlow. But no worries. Uh, Shepherd Hills has free shipping over forty nine dollars. And this and my Barlow were over $49, so they just shipped it individually. Obviously some fingerprints on this from people handling it. Uh, the paper did not look like it was open, so it must have just been a fingerprint from the factory, which is good. That means they're probably opening and closing it and checking fit and finish. This one is really nice. Really nice green. That peach seed jig is spectacular. Now, is it a lizard skin? No, it's not. But it's pretty nice. Great snap. Very happy with the blade finish. The fit and finish on these. I don't really see any gaps. I can see a little light. Like I said, these are constructed different than slip joints. You're going to get that. It's a mid-lock. It's a lockback. So nothing to be worried about. Thank you for joining me in the Tiger Pit for another unboxing of one of my favorite case patterns of all time. Besides the Barlow, besides the Trapper, besides the 75 Stockman, and besides the Mini Trapper. I, I like a lot of. A lot of patterns by case, but these full-size copper locks are by far one of my absolute favorites and a bargain, and I'm glad they are bringing them back because I didn't want to spend $130, $150 for them on eBay. Thanks for joining me in the Tiger Pit. You stay sharp, be kind, and take chances. Take care.